Well, that was easy. This is not the drywall in the bathroom, but this is a good example of what it did look like. And this is how most of the drywall looks in this entire house. Egregious. Roofing material behind tile. Bunch of mold everywhere. So far we removed all the old tile. We also pulled a wall out that made this into a walk-in shower. We moved that HVAC vent about four feet away from the window further than it was before. Here's where we are. We did put in a light. Oddly enough, it was ran off of a switch that's back there somewhere. Put the bench in. We gotta wrap it with drywall. We gotta drywall the whole thing, really. We'll wrap that. We'll put the the shower pan behind the drywall, so whatever dry whatever moisture gets into the drywall can, in theory, go down the drain. Here's what it looks like so far. The drywall on the ceiling, as well as in the shower, is all green because it's a mold-resistant drywall, which is good to use if there's any chance of getting moisture. We just first coated and taped all this drywall. We temporarily installed the shower head pipe so that we can put drywall nice and tight against it. As of right now, I skim coated all the texture to kind of get rid of it. There was some baseboard that this clown put up here to use as crown molding, but it looked like trash. Uh, we ended up removing the caulking right there and it, it you know, takes off some of the paint with it usually, so you skim coat over that and then you can't see anything later. But, so the biggest issue is, we have some discrepancies. This is supposed to be a flat wall. So that's definitely part of the problem. You can see that we're sanded it down to the point that some of the little fuzz is coming up from the, the tape, but there's still high spots on the tape and low spots everywhere else. So we're going to go and skim those out, build up the low spots so that we can have this hopefully as smooth as possible. Let me explain this part a little bit. <clears throat> so I know there's a high spot right here, low spot right here, low spot below it. So I get this long straight edge and I'm not pushing too hard but I'm making sure it's contacting right here on where I know the high spot is. And I'm pushing somewhat soft, dragging it across here. And anywhere where there's gaps in the mud, you know that's a low spot. So I need to put more mud right here. Now I have more mud on there, so I'll take my straight edge again. Make sure the bottom's touching the high spot. Don't push too hard because it'll bow this thing and then you'll still have kind of a curve on it. But now you can see, took a lot of it out. After scraping this wall down a little bit, I can see that right here is a decent sized pit in it. So I'm gonna fill that up. That's after I went with the longer straight edge to kind of figure out where all the ugly stuff is at. Not gonna lie, this is a total experiment. I'm gonna put some texture on the ceiling with this. See how it goes. I added a bunch of water to the to this texture. There's the consistency. I don't know, maybe pancake batter. I think that's half bad.
On the walls here, we chose to not do a texture. There's a subtle texture just from the paint being rolled on. We didn't spray it, we rolled it on. Also, after we painted it, some of this texture is, is uh, still there. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to skim coat over that, but we won't show that process. Uh, it's, fa it's fairly flat already, so we'll just skim coat over it, and then we'll paint it and keep it all flat. The only texture we're doing is on the ceiling in this application. I have another video where I go over texture on walls, if you're interested in that. And then, the next video we post is gonna be about this tile. Hopefully it's finished in the next couple days.